Here we go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He has brought us back once again to come together out of the distraction of this world to enter into his presence with thanksgiving into his courts with praise to come together in the name of Jesus, to come together on, on one accord, focusing upon him. And I welcome everyone here to, 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 to our Repairing the Breach Ministries Thursday evening Bible study as we come to all come together. I welcome everyone here and those of you that have joined together with us online. And as we come together, we come together in the name of Jesus. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, on one accord. Focus in upon our Father, uh, and, uh, and, and just as always, be be mindful, be uh, continuously in prayer that there be nothing to hinder this Bible study as we as we get underway. Uh, be in continuous prayer that those that are joining together with us online that they that they will not have any distractions or any kind of interruptions any anywhere around, and that they can as well come together and, and, and be part of this, be part of this Bible study as we all are. Uh, as we all sit at our Father's feet and and uh, wait to, to receive everything that He has for us, uh, be in prayer that the, the signal goes off without a hitch. There be no interruption or disturbances upon it. Uh, and don't be a distraction or any kind of interruption into anyone as we all come together to receive from our Father. But before we get started, before we get everything underway, let's all uh, bow our heads before our Father and open up in prayer in the name of Jesus. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, for guiding and keeping us, for allowing, allowing us uh, to once again to come together this Thursday evening to, uh, to sit at your feet and receive your Bible study, to come out of the distraction of this world. I thank you for the safe travels that you've given to each and every one of us, dear Father, keeping us in prayer, keep, keeping us in, uh, uh, in safety as, as, we, as we have given everything unto you in prayer in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father. As we sit at your feet, as we all come together in one accord, dear Father, as as, as we should be, dear Lord, I, I pray, dear Father, just forgive us of all the sins that 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 we've committed against you, dear Father. I pray to, uh, that none will will fall, none will uh, fall away, dear Father, but keep us upon that straight and narrow pathway. And and and, dear Father, I pray as well as we start this Bible study, remind us to empty ourselves before you, remind us to 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 come before you empty ready to receive, ready and eager uh, to receive from you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Lord, for this this whole church, this whole gathering, those here, as well as those together, gathered together with us online, that we can do so and, and, and do it in, with joy, do it in safety, do it, no interruptions or disturbances, that we'll be able to receive your word to the fullest, dear Father, and that there will be not, no confusion of any kind to enter in, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, that those that join together with us online, remind them that they are a part of this uh, of this Bible study as they come together uh, join together with those here in this place dear father and, and we come together on one accord that there is no separation that your blessings your anointing everything that you have to give unto us will fall upon them as well dear father there's no separation dear lord in the name of jesus i pray dear father that you be in the midst that everyone that joins together with us here as well as online will, will know that this is your church that you that you maintain and sustain your church dear father that you are the head of this church dear lord and then we do all things in glory of you dear father and i pray that all will see all will be witnesses of that dear lord and i pray that your that 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 your fire will be upon our hearts dear lord in the name of jesus as we as we sit at your feet that we will receive with excitement your word that you have prepared for us dear father and I, <coughs> as well dear lord and I pray just to be with each and every one of us, dear Father, God, and keeping and standing on with us in all in every way, dear Lord, and and saying I come against you in the name of Jesus. You will not you will you will not in any way interfere with this Bible study in the name of Jesus. And you will not interfere with the with the broadcast. You will not in any way, shape, or form hinder or interrupt this the the the, the, the our Father's children that that sit as we sit at His feet. And I command in the name of Jesus to leave us and to leave us right now in Jesus' name. He will not be a hindrance. Uh, and I command in the name of Jesus to keep your hands off of, of the of the electronics, off the broadcast, off the computer, everything. You will not be an, a hindrance. You will not have anything to do with this Bible study. And in Jesus' name, I cast you out even right now. And <clears throat> dear Father, we thank you. And we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us and guiding and keeping and standing on with us. We thank you for all that you have done for us. And I pray, dear Father, 
as we sit at your feet, as we ready, as we have readied ourselves to, to receive your word. I pray that, that, that your Holy Spirit, that, that the comfort, our comforter that you have sent unto us, dear Father, will open up your word unto us, dear Lord. Uh, that we will ha all have the understanding that you that 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 you would desire us to have, dear Father. I pray that your Holy Spirit breaks down this word for each and every one of us, from those of us that can only handle the milk of your word to those of us that, that can handle the meat of your word. I pray, dear Father, that we all be able to receive and there be none to leave out of the, to to leave out of this Bible study confused or with any misunderstanding upon their heart that we that I pray dear father that we all will be able to take it in with, with a full understanding that you would have for us to to receive it with dear father in the name of Jesus I pray blessings and guidance and keep and keep us dear father in the name of Jesus dear Lord and dear father as we receive your word remind each and every one of us that all the glory all the praise go straight unto you dear father none unto myself that there may be no temptation of pride to enter into your servant dear father and I let it be known this day to all that join together with us uh, and that I give myself unto you. I empty my cup before you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm praying that you will speak your word through your servant, that there will be no interruptions of the flesh to, inter to interfere, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, just to use me as your speaker, dear Lord. I give myself unto you, for I know that apart from you, I cannot preach. Apart from you, apart from you, I cannot teach. I can, apart from you, I cannot lead your lead your hungry that 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 come running after you that you have sent me to 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 lead, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And therefore, I give myself unto you, praying, dear Father, to give your servant let let the wisdom just flow through your servant, let the words flow through your servant, dear Father. And there, I give myself unto you, dear Father. Praying that you would that, that that you would that you would teach each and every one of us uh, your word this day, dear Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you and we praise you, dear Father, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. All right, now here we go. Once again, we're back at Proverbs uh, on. We started chapter two last week. Uh, today we're gonna um, we're gonna be starting up at on. Uh, uh, ver we're starting at verse six. Uh, and, <clears throat> uh, we're going to try to go up to uh, maybe verse. Uh, where is that, Father? Uh, maybe verse 10, 10, 10, or, 10 and 11 or 10 or 11. We're going to try to do up to there. But uh, however far we get, that's how far that's. How far we're going? That's how far we get in in this in this hour. But just as always, uh, before we start um, the new part, we're going to review and go over what what uh, the Lord had had given to us when the Lord had given to us last week. Uh, the breaking down of His Word that He gave to each and every one of us, uh, and we're going to and. And uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, just as always, I'm going to be reading out of the NIV or the King James. Uh, if there's if some some verses, I'll be reading out of the NIV, and I'll try to keep in mind to indicate uh, which I'm going to be coming out of, just so there's no confusion in, 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 uh, of which uh, of which version of, of the Bible I'm coming out, whether it's the NIV or the King James. But uh, like I said, we're, we're going to uh, go over last week. What, what we did, uh, verse 1 to verse 5, and I'm going to read all of those straight down, and we're going to get a quick review, and then move on to where we're at this week. All right, hand this out to King James. Uh, here, uh, and like I said, it's out the uh, King James Version. Chapter, Proverbs chapter 2, starting at verse 1, it says, My son, if thou will, re will receive my words, and hide my commandments in thee, so that thou so that thou incline thy ear unto unto wisdom and apply thine heart unto understanding yea if i if thou criest after knowledge and lift and lifts up thy voice for understanding if thou if thou seek if thou seekest her as silver and search and search for her for her as hid treasures then thou then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Now, here starting at verse 2 uh, I mean at, at verse 1 of chapter 2, it starts out like the Lord 
uh, to told us last week to start off saying my son, keeping it personal, uh, letting letting everyone know that 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 uh, we're his. Uh, that uh, when when this was written, whoever read this uh, it w would know that 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 the Lord may may is making this personal uh, as Solomon wrote this and God gave Solomon uh, wisdom above everyone <clears throat> above everyone uh, that that was anywhere around him then it comes for said my son if thou wilt receive and thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments in the uh, the in the, the hiding his words and his commandments uh, everything that that is of God um, not, not going after anything th themselves as, as uh, uh the lord told us uh, as the lord went turned us back to what was that of genesis uh when, when eve <clears throat> genesis chapter 3 verse 5 and verse 6 when eve was uh deceived by the serpent uh she saw the tree and, and it, as i said it, it um makes one uh it's good for food and and uh desirable to make one wise let me let me turn back to it real quick in chapter 3 verse 5 and verse 6 if you want to uh, turn to it as well uh, and here we'll just read verse 6 where it says when a woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it and that it was pleasant to the eyes and and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took the fruit she took of it the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Uh, go, and, and this was that going out on their own, how the Lord told us, just going out on your own and, and doing and, and do, trying to do your own thing to to, to uh, ed, like to educate yourself in your own way, not 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 uh, not not uh, letting God guide you in it. And that's what this was saying here. If, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, everything. It, <clears throat> being focused upon our Father, focused upon, uh, or uh, focus upon uh, what He has in store, and we're going to get into that even later on. Is that you just hide it? You you, you receive His word. Don't not only hearing His words, but receiving His words. Not not only uh, uh letting it be head knowledge, but also being uh, heart knowledge, and as well going on in verse two, where it says, "So that so that thou." So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding. That now here, uh, where where I lost my oh there it is. Uh, <clears throat> here that that inclining inclining your 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 ears to 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 wisdom and the heart to understanding and to make the and, and just to make this quick so we don't uh go pack go uh get too in depth because it, like I just as always we keep the uh, Bible studies uh, we we, ha we transfer them to YouTube uh, repairing the breach ministries uh, YouTube page uh, so we're just going to keep this sweet short and sweet but here it says that uh, if, if it says so if thou incline thine ear unto unto wisdom and thy heart unto understanding that that uh, th this is uh, the ear is the, <coughs> the outward represents the outward uh, uh, vehicle of communication, hearing the words that come in that that come into you, and the heart is the in it is the inward uh, putting thing uh, th that that is the receiving of it, and and, and it's the inward the the intellectual faculties where where you have it. Uh, you have the word in your heart, and and and, it may, and 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 you look toward it uh, when you're walking in that pathway, when you're out in the world, uh, and and that's what this is taught, and that's what this is saying that that uh, and this is and this is saying that that from verse two, uh, three, three, four, and five is saying that this is what's going to happen if you do so, if you if you uh incline your ear uh. Incline your ear to wisdom and apply uh, your heart to understanding. And, and that here, it, it going going on in verse three. Let me put this in my notebook so I don't lose that piece of paper. That going on in verse three, saying, "Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lift up thy voice for understanding." If you cry after knowledge, like like a uh, like a, a a a child, a baby cries. 
uh, for its for its mother for its mother's milk uh, as a bird uh, uh, chirps and and uh, continuously for for the food that 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 uh, uh, the the uh, the mother bird brings back to it uh, here <clears throat> just as it says uh in for in First Peter and I'm just going to turn to these real quick and you can turn to them as well but it has as it says in in First Peter chap chapter two uh, verse two. Where it says, as newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may. <clears throat> as newborn babies, newborn babies desire, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. That, that, that you just uh, not f because you need it to grow. Uh, and, and that's what this is saying in, in verse three. It says, "If you cry after knowledge and lift your voice up, uh, lift your voice to understanding." Say, "If you do so, uh, if you do these things, uh, just uh, <clears throat> to indicate your desire for." Uh, goes going on in in verse in verse four, where it says, "If thou seekest." After sil if thou seekest her as silver, and search searches for her as hid treasures, that this that that this is all of the conditions that that if you it, it, that of receive of receiving the words of uh, of uh, hearing them with your ear, and applying them to your heart, that if you if you run after them with, with all of your with, with all of your might, with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of the desire that you have, it says, and if thou see if it, it, if, if thou seekest her as sil as silver and searches for her, uh, searches for her as hid as hid treasures, if, if you go after it uh, non non stop, if you go after it, uh, no matter what the dangers that are put before you, no matter what the circumstances that that uh, may may stand in your pathway, that if you go after it just like that, then. Uh, you'll have the result in verse five uh, as, as it goes on. Uh, it says, "Then thou, then <clears throat> thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God." It says, "Then and only then will you have a true reverence of God. Then and only then will you have that tr have a true uh, have a true knowledge of God." Then and only then will, will you have that true that that true relationship, that true reverence for God. And I, and I'll read this again. Uh, what I had written down last week. It says, "Without reverence of without reverence of God, there can be no knowledge of God in in its true sense." Is it so? So the true knowledge of God will increase and deepen the feeling of reverence. That 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 that's saying that's saying that that if you don't that if you don't reverence God, you will know of God. Like the T-shirts say, uh, like there there's teachers that 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 Jesus is my homeboy, or or what would or the the thing way back uh, years ago, the the fad that what would Jesus do bracelets, uh, that that's uh, knowing of knowing of God, knowing of Jesus, uh, but not having that true reverence, not not going after, not not uh crying after knowledge not lifting up your voice for understanding not seeking it not 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 seeking uh our father as sil as silver or searching for our father as gold that this is what that that uh, unless it's with all of your heart no matter what the dangers no matter what uh no matter how long you have to do, have to cry out for it, no but that if you do so, that then you will have what we have, what we have here in verse five, where it says, "Then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and the knowledge, uh, and fear of the Lord and and find the knowledge of God. Then you will find all of these things that God has laid up for for everyone, that God has a uh, uh, ready just just to give as we as we'll get to it here in uh what verse is it in in, in this ver in verse six. And now here, start. We'll start up now here in verse six. And now keep in mind, uh, verse three, four. Wait, verse three and verse four uh, is what is what we uh, as as uh, those hungry after after God should do. Go crying after knowledge, lifting up our voice to understanding, seeking it, uh, seeking 
seek or as seeking her uh, as silver and searches searches for her as for hidden treasures. Just going wholeheartedly after and, and the result of it, uh, having that wisdom, having that uh, having that uh, understanding uh, 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 of the true understanding of the fear of the Lord and having that true knowledge of God, know, knowing who knowing uh, the, the the character of God, knowing knowing who God is. Uh, true, know, truly knowing who God is, not not only not just uh, how the idol religions and, and that that will go out and say yes, we know Je- we, we know Jesus, uh, uh, we know He walked the earth, uh, <clears throat> or uh, I can't remember what book it it is in, but it says uh, the devil believes uh, believes and, and and tremble, but knowing but having that relationship, uh, running after. God with, with everything, no matter what the danger, no matter how long it takes, running after him, just uh, j- crying, uh, just letting your voice be lifted up, desiring uh, for for that wisdom. And, and here, let, let's move on, as I could get, I can stay in that for a long time. But but here, verse six, it says, "For God giveth wisdom; out of His mouth cometh." <coughs> cometh knowledge and understanding now just as just as uh, verse 3 verse and verse 4 and verse 5 uh, show what what we have to do how we have to go after with with, with everything that with everything that we have uh, and verse 5 shows the result of it this section here verse 6 uh, to verse 8 is show is going to show Everything that that God has for us, uh, that what He has laid up for us, uh, or, or what what uh, uh what He has to give to us in ver- as it says in verse uh, six, what He has laid up for us, and as it says in verse seven, as as how He keeps us in, in in verse eight, and the result of it in verse nine. Uh, here that verse six to verse eight, what He has for us, and here starting starting here in verse six. It says, "For God giveth wisdom." That that not only uh, not not only is God <clears throat> does God have uh, all the wisdom. Uh, what is that? I, I, let's see. Omnipresent is everywhere. Omniscient is om, om, omni, um, um, omnipotent is all power. Uh, okay. That that not only is God uh, has has all the power has, has everything. Uh, that that out of his mouth uh, speaks word. His words are are put into action, uh, just as it was said in in in, uh, cha- in Genesis chapter one. What, what was it? Verse uh, verse verse three, I believe. Let's let's turn to it and and, and find. Let's see if I'm right. Ha! Ah, yes, thank you, Lord. I was right. And here in, in chapter one, in Genesis chapter one, verse three, uh, where it says, "And God said, Let there be light, and there was light." That not only does he have all is he all power that, that does he speak things in, into being, but but he uh, but he doesn't he doesn't hoard it unto himself. He doesn't keep it uh, to to uh, and and just let and and, and just let uh, everyone uh, just be in awe of him, saying, "Oh look look of look uh, of all that I know. Look how much I know." Or, or look, look uh, the wisdom that I have, but it goes on even. It, it goes on. He goes on. It goes on to say, "The Lord giveth wisdom." And just as, just as it says in James chapter one, flip over to James chapter one, uh, with ver- verse five, and I'll read this out to King James. Oh, no, here I'll read this out of the NIV. It says, "If any, if any of you lack lacks wisdom." You should ask God, who gives generously to all without without finding fault, and it will be and it will be given to you. That liberally, as it said in in the in the uh, in in the King James, but here in, in the NIV it says that God get that God gives it uh, generously. He pours it out. Uh, his 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 wisdom, uh, as as we read in verse uh, two, uh, in verse two, 
3 and 4 that that if you incline your ear into wisdom apply your heart to understanding if you cry after knowledge lift up your voice uh, understanding if we if you seek her as silver if you search for her as hid treasures then then you will have that understanding uh, uh, uh understanding that the, the fear of the Lord and, and find the knowledge of God. And be, because here in verse six, that God giveth wisdom. He And as we just read in, in, in James chapter five, that he gives it uh, liberally or out the NIV, it says generously that, that he does not hold it back. He's not, he does, he, he does not give sparingly. If you seek with, if you seek him with everything that you have, uh, just like it, just like we just read, crying after him and and and, and lifting up your voice, and, uh, searching just as silver or as as a hid treasure. If, if you go after it, if you go after God that hard, He's going to give it. He's going to pour out His wisdom to you liberally. He's going to pour it out to you generously, uh, <clears throat> because because here flip back to uh, Proverbs. I'm sorry, I'm back in Proverbs because it says. That God that that for the Lord gives, for the Lord giveth wisdom. He gives the wisdom. He gives it to us. If you seek after Him, if you desire from it, if you ask Him, He gives it to you. And it says, "Out of His mouth cometh knowledge and understanding." That 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 all the wisdom that 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 you can find, all of the uh, that that uh, what well, here. I'll say like this: that all the all of the books that you can find in the world, and all of the books that you can study over a lifetime, cannot cannot hold a candle to what what God it, what what the Lord can do. That that He says, out of His mouth cometh knowledge. There's nothing but knowledge and understanding that 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 comes out of God. There's nothing but truth uh, that 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 comes out of God. That if you see that that it's saying here that that if you seek Him. In that way, then, then God is going to give it to you. And, and just as we read it in, in James, God is going to give it to you liberally. He's not going to hold it back. He's not going to uh, he's not going to to just uh, trickle it out. Uh, 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 how how uh, Lazarus uh, desired uh, desired uh, <clears throat> the poor man to, to dip his finger in water and just to drip it on his tongue with uh Whenever he was in, whenever he was in in in, in hell, and he lifted up and seen and, and seen the poor man in in, in Abraham's arm, and that that's a uh, the I can't remember what book I, th- I believe it's in uh Luke, Mark or Luke I can't remember which one, but it, it's not just a drip that he gives, he pours it out to you, he gives it to you, uh, and 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 not only does he give you that that wisdom and, wisdom and, and and the knowledge. It go hand in hand. Once you have that, once you, uh, once God gives you that wisdom and and, and, and that knowledge, uh, that then understanding is going to follow. You there, there's, it's not. You're not going to have any kind of choice, uh, or, or you won't. The only, how is this? How do, how should I say this, Father? The 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 only. Consequence, the the only the the only uh, result of having both of the having that wisdom, ha- having that 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 wisdom and that knowledge that that God gives is, is that uh, that f- that that following. You're going to have that understanding, the understanding of, of everything that you see. You're going to uh, you're going to see it, and you're going to have a, a true understanding how God would have you to have the understanding, not how the not how the world would have you to see things. Uh, that because uh, going off and uh, off track for a little bit because that's how that that that's how the the uh, this the the world is that's how Satan uh, uh, tr- pulls you in it, 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 that he will he will try to keep you uh, looking away looking of what's around you uh, and and try to get that to influence you of how uh, of how your outlook would be with everything. Instead of looking toward God, that that gives the wisdom, that gives the knowledge and the understanding. The, instead of seeing how He would see things, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. But but that but but that's that is one result of when you seek God. 
uh, as hidden treasures when you uh, as as you would seek a hidden treasure as you would seek as you would dig for silver uh, uh, when you lift up when you lift up and receive everything that he had uh, and here going on in verse seven that here in verse seven it, it says he layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous and uh, no it doesn't say and <laughs> he is a buckler for them that walk upright uprightly now not only does he uh, lay up wisdom but he lays up sound wisdom uh, let's see what it says in the NIV uh, where is it at he he holds success in the store for the upright uh, I don't know I don't know how they got that translated like that, but but he he lay he lay he layeth up sound wisdom. Well, ah, oh, okay, that, that's not, okay. That would be success, but he he lay. Not only is it just is it not? It's not just wisdom, but he lays up sound wisdom, uh, and, and he and he has that lay and he gives it to you. As we read in verse in, in verse six, he gives that to you. And he has it laid up in store, uh, but there, but there has to be that search for it, that search, uh, that that crying after knowledge in verse three, uh, that 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 seeking after it, uh, seeking after, uh, see, seeking after, uh, after it, as it says in verse four, as, as silver, and searching for it as, as hidden treasure. And he has that laid up. The, 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 it has to be searched for. It has to be diligently gone after. Uh, like you have to have that Jacob kind of uh, stubbornness, not letting go until you have uh, until, until he had that blessing. Not even though his hip was his hip was knocked out of joint, he did not let go. The pain did not uh, cause him to the pain did not cause him to take his eyes and his attention off of what he desired. And this is the same thing here that he had. God has it laid up for us. Uh, he has it in store. He has it ready to give. And, and just as we read in James, he has it. He has it for us to give liberally. But but we have to, uh, as it said in verse four, as in, in three and verse four, you have to cry after it. You have to lift up your voice. You have to seek. Uh, you have to seek it as silver and search for it as as hidden treasures. And then you, and, and then that would that then that what is laid up for you is going to is going to be given to you, uh, and it's going to and it's not going to be any kind of secondary uh, wisdom, any kind of secondary uh, any kind of secondary uh, thing like like a. Uh, like a, it's not going to be a substitute. He's not going to uh, uh, have. He's not going to have somebody have. Uh, I don't want to say it wrong and, con and conf have confusion running. Uh, he's not going to. Uh, uh, well, here I'll put it like this. Thank you, Lord. Everything that God teaches you, everything that God authorizes for it to, for it to be taught to you, is going to be taught. Uh, with is going to is going to be taught uh, is going to be given the best. You're going to be given the best uh, of what God has to give to you, and and that is saying that if, if God, when God teaches you, when God get when God pours liberally, pours generously, uh, as you cried and searched after Him diligently. That as he pours it out, as he pours it to you, what he has to pour down to you, no matter if it's straight from him or or if or if he sends uh, one of his children uh, to come teach you that, because it, 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 to keep in mind that that it may not it, it or it, it God will send people to teach. Uh, and, and and that this is this is one of the prayer this is uh the 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 the, the importance of prayer uh, the importance of prayer going off a little bit again that that you have to uh, be in continuous prayer uh, to know and, and to recognize when it's when something is God sent and when something is 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 is, uh, is Satan sent and Satan sent mean that that it, 
uh, it will be for deception. It will be for distraction, for to get your eyes off of, uh, to 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 sideline you, or, or or to cause you to go off and go off the pathway. That when you when prayer is in the midst, when prayer is in the midst, when the desire is there, uh, th- then you then you will see what God. Uh, whoever God sends you your way that it's that that person is sent of from from God and and it's not sent uh and it's not a world it's not sent uh uh it's not a world worldly world the world had Satan has not sent them uh to distract you but uh here uh and that and that's where and that's where we have here uh that he has stored up he has laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. He has laid that up. Uh, that the sound the sound wisdom is it, it, it is his true. Oh wait, where's it at, Father? Now, let me find, let me see if I can find it. Uh, flip, turn turn to Matthew chapter thirteen. We're gonna. We'll be flipping to that a couple times. Maybe. Matthew chapter 13, uh, verse 11. Here in Matthew chapter 13, this is, and I'm going to read this out there. Let's see which one. Uh, I'll read this out the NIV says he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God but to them it is not given and he lays up this sound wisdom for the righteous that that he gives that understanding uh, to each and every one of us that 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 uh, uh, <clears throat> that we are to know his true uh, true meanings behind what, what goes on, uh, h- h- true understanding uh, behind uh, the the actions that 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 have been that have happened around us or to us or or anything like that. That that there is no confusion. There won't be any confusion because you know it. It's that 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 God has it in hand. You know He has your best. Uh, <clears throat> he has nothing but the best for e- for each and every one of us. And this is uh, that that this is that sound wisdom, uh, because you ran. A, and, and we're gonna keep referring back up to to uh, the uh, the first part of chapter t- uh, of chapter two, uh, is because you ran after, uh, because you cried after knowledge, lifted up your voice for understanding, seeking for it as silver and searching for it as hidden treasures. That he that everything that is laid up, the result is it's going to be given to you. It's going to be it's going to be poured out to you. He, he's going to give it to you. It's going to be given to you generously not sparingly and now and now that and now here it goes on that that the sound wisdom is given to you and going on even further it says he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly that he is a buckler as he as he said in genesis in, in to abraham in genesis chapter 15 verse 1 he says i am thy shield and thy exceeding exceedingly great reward that he is going that that he is his protection he is his uh uh, <clears throat> he was Abraham. He is Abraham's protection. He uh, that that he has him under his uh, uh, as a, as a as a as a uh, hen has his chick has their has her chicks underneath uh, her her wings, protecting uh, protecting you. Uh, j- and just as it uh, uh on, in verse uh, in in Psalms chapter ninety one verse. Oh um, man, is that sad? I think that's verse seven. I wrote down. That's, I mean, let's turn to it. Uh, Psalms chapter ninety-one, verse seven. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it was verse seven. Man, I wrote messy. I wrote that one messy. Here it says Psalms. Oh, I mean, <laughs> here it says in Psalms ninety-one, chapter ninety-one, verse seven. It says. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. This is that, and, and, and this is that, uh, uh, being being his buckler, being his, being your, your protector, uh, and, and just as in verse one of of Psalms, 
of Psalms chapter 91. The second verse 1 is what, what we're going over here. It says, it says, He that dwelleth, and this is out the King James, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It, that, that dwells, staying in that secret, not, not leaving out of it. Uh, that, that that's that's that that crying after knowledge, lifting up your voice uh, for 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 understanding, seeking, uh, searching it for silver, uh, seeking it for silver, searching it as uh, as hid treasures. That, that that God, that all of that, that God is going to be uh, your shield. He, he's he's going to be your buckler uh, to them that walk uprightly. Uh, that that uh, he's gonna he's gonna protect you. He's he's gonna protect you, and not only protect you physically. Uh, this goes way beyond just, just a uh, going just the physical sins. Just, just and th this is just like uh, when we when the Lord took us through the through revelations. Uh, that that this is this is spiritually that that as you walk with God, that spiritually He's going to be your shield. Spiritually, when when Satan comes to you, just like he went, just like he went to Christ. Uh, let me see if I can find it. In in, in uh, I'm sure it's in Matthew. Uh, let's see. Is it chapter? Oh, chapter four. It's in chapter four. Uh, just just like just like with with Satan, just like uh, Satan, everything that Satan did. Uh, <clears throat> where's it at? Uh, and, and here in verse three, just like just like he uh, uh whenever Satan tempted him in verse three. Which says, and when a tempter came to him, he said, "If thou be son, if thou if thou be the son of God, I'm sorry, this is out the King James, command these stones to be made bread." Uh, but he at, but he answered and said, I, "It is written, uh, <clears throat> man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God." And and here we'll just read these two. It says, and when and and we'll just we'll go we'll do all of them here in verse five where it says then the devil ta then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and said and said unto him if thou be the son of God cast thyself down for it is written he shall he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in all, and in their hand they shall bear thee up lest at any time Thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. But G, uh, G, in verse 7, Jesus said unto him, uh, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord God. <coughs> and uh, let's see. Should we read this last one, Father? Yeah, we'll read this last one. Uh, here, and it says, And the devil taketh, and the devil taketh him up uh, into exceedingly high mountain and, and showed him all the nations of the world and the glory of them and and said unto him all these things i will give unto thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me and uh, then jesus then then saith jesus unto him get thee hence satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve and the devil will leave with him, and behold, angels came and strengthened him. Now, all of these, that, that being that buckler, all of the, everything that, that, that Satan came at him with. Uh, he came at he came at him uh, with, with uh, turn the stones into bread. And came at him with throw yourself off because I'm gonna read out. He says because uh, it doesn't it say this it doesn't it say this that he's gonna send his angels to ch uh, charge over him. And then he and then he came after him and, and then he said uh, he showed him all of the glory and, and all of the nation uh, of the world. He said if just bow down and and I would give everything to you. This is this is. God being that buckler uh, uh, to, to, to Christ, him walking uprightly, uh, letting him see the, 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 the tricks and the, and the snares that Satan set before him. And this is what he has, and, and this is what uh, he has for us as well. That, uh, <clears throat> that, 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 he, that when, when Satan comes after us and, and, and tries to, and, and tries to cause us confusion, tries to cause us, 
uh, what is it for? It tries to cause us distraction uh, to be distracted and, and, and with the with the uh, wilds of this world. Then then we're then be, God being that buckler, He's gonna sh He it, we're gonna see it. Uh, it it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a wet, it's gonna be clear to us, and we're and and we're gonna turn and and we're gonna turn away from it. All right now. Here, we'll try to at least get to verse 8 and verse 9, since that best of the two. We should be able to. Nah, we'll get to it. If the Lord has us get to it, he has us. If he doesn't, we'll just go over it next week. Now, here, verse 8 says, He keepeth the paths of the judge, uh, of, he keepeth the paths of judgment, and preserveth the way of his saints. Keeping the paths. Uh, that that is what we just uh, that 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 is uh, keeping us from falling, uh, keeping us from going in, in, in any oddball, in, in any uh, ungiven, un, any deceptive direction. Uh, that that is that that is uh, that being that buckler uh, to us, uh, lay, uh, giving us that uh, giving us that that uh, uh, wisdom that that he has to give to us uh, liberally. That that he says he keep that God God is going to keep uh, the, the the path of judgment or in the NIV it says and for he guards the course of the just that he's going to keep us going in that right pathway he's going to keep us uh, traveling in the way that that we should go uh, <clears throat> as let's see what is that uh oh, we won't read that one uh <clears throat> but but we're here yeah yeah thank you father. Uh, flip to Psalms chapter six, chapter sixty-six, verse uh, verse nine. I believe it's verse nine. And Psalms chapter sixty-six, verse nine. Uh, let's see, is that? Yeah. They said it, it, it says, "This is at the King James, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth." not and wait let me look at this suffereth not our feet to be moved that he's going to keep you oh thank you lord let us read that that he's going to keep you and not and not to be moved once you once you have your your your, your when you start that walk and, and this is referring to the new to 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 uh after christ uh uh, uh died and was raised again after uh, that once you accept christ as a personal, as your personal savior, and you and you root your your, your faith in, in, in that in, in that rock, uh, that that you're not going to be moved, you're not going to be uh, swayed in any in, in any way, and, and that and that goes the same way as as, as as when it was written here in the Old Testament that that is that you that you're not going to be moved, that that God is going to keep as long as you walk with God. That he's going to keep you in that path. Uh, and he says, "Keep, keep the, keep the path of judgment." He's going to keep the, your ways. He's going to keep your ways smooth. He's going to watch where you're going. He's going to, uh, as it says in New King James, he, 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 he's going to guard your course. He's going to guard. He, he's going to guard your course because, as it says in verse seven, you're walking uprightly. He says that to them that walk uprightly, walking uprightly is knowing the fear of the Lord, having that tr that, that 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 true reverence, uh, <clears throat> no, having uh, as it said, as we have today, having that uh, uh, tr having a, a relationship with Christ, a personal relationship with Christ, inviting Him into your heart, uh, <clears throat> knowing that that He died for your sins, knowing that you're a sinner and that you need to be saved. That's what this is talking about here, and uh. And, and and that's why he's going to he is going to keep those pathways uh, of the just and he says and preserve the way of the saints uh, that that is that is that uh, keeping his angels charge charge giving his angels charge over the of what we just uh, of what how how Satan tried to deceive Christ that keeping uh, his angels charge uh, uh, here we we'll turn to turn to Psalms ninety one verse eleven and verse twelve. That he says, for he gives his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Uh, they shall not; they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest lest thy dash 
lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. He's going. That this is the he, angels try to keep you in, in all your way, in all of the ways that God would have you to go as you're walking uprightly with Him. That He's going to flip back to uh, Proverbs. Uh, I went brain dead for a second. <laughs> that that He that He's going that that He's going He's going to preserve your way. He's going to preserve the way that as you go on, as you as you have as you have that that. As he pours out his, his knowledge and his understanding, as he lays up, as he had laid up that wisdom for you, and he's that that buckler, he's going to let you. He's going to preserve your way, letting you see uh, the tricks how Satan will cause, try to cause you to stumble. Uh, the same with that, how with Christ, when Satan tried to cause Christ to stumble, that that it was with, that that he knew it, he saw it, and he knew it. Uh, right away that here that that here that he he's going to preserve not he's going to keep you in your pathway and here I like it how it says in the, in, in the NIV it says uh, he says and protect the way of his faithful ones uh, he's going to protect you however you, wherever you go you're going to see you're not you're not going to be influenced by how the world would have you desires for you to see things you're going to see things how how the how the lord have you to see it. you're going to see it, the, the 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 truth of, the the truth of things how how our father would have you to see things and now here in verse 9 where it says thou shalt then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equality yea every good path and he says now then and only then once you, uh, once once the lord pours that once the lord gives you wisdom and, and it, Gives you, uh, gives you wisdom. Uh, uh, give you that knowledge from out of his mouth, laying a uh, laid up sound wisdom for you, uh, and be and be that and be your buckler. Well, as he keeps your pathway, uh, as he as he preserves your, the way that you go. The, 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 then, and only then. You, you will you will understand it says thou shalt you understand righteousness judgment equality uh yea and every good path every good path because uh just just like uh uh the there's none good but God. How Christ said, uh, why, when, when a rich young ruler came up to him and said, "Good servant," he says, "Why do you call me good? There's none good but 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 God." And now uh, here, that every good path that He's gonna he, He's gonna give you that understanding, and that that comes out of. Uh, let me see. I gotta find it. I gotta find it first. Uh, that. That's coming, and that is a repeat out of Psalms chapter 1, verse 3. It says here, to receive instruction, wisdom, judgment, judge, justice, judgment, and equality. This, 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 is, a, this is what, what, what God has, that you're going to know all, you're going to have all of that. Uh, you're gonna have that understanding. You're gonna have the understanding of it. Uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to. Uh, un you're gonna have that true understanding of the of the fear of the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna have that true understanding of of the the the, the pathway He's gonna have you to go on. No matter what is, no matter what the noise is around you, and, and that that that's trying to that that that's trying to direct you in another way. That you're going to know once you have once you have everything that we went over uh, from verse uh, uh, verse six, seven, and eight uh, that that where the Lord pour where the Lord gives it gives uh gives the wisdom out of His mouth and understanding lay, laying up that wisdom for the righteous uh, being that buckler uh, for those that walk uprightly that that, that keeping the uh, keeping the pathway keeping the path uh, of Keeping the path of the judge of judgment and, and and preserving the way, it says then you will know all of these things that right the righteousness, judgment, and e e equality, and every good path. Then you then you're gonna know, uh, you're gonna know everything that that God would have you to know. You're gonna know everything that how 
uh, of, of the pathway that God would have you to walk on. You're going to you're going to be you're going to be walking in the way that God would have you to walk. Uh, where it says, where he told in, in the old te- in the old and the new testament, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." You're going to know how to do so because you're walking after him. You're 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 running after him. You're crying for. You're crying out. You're letting your voice be heard. Uh, you're searching at for it as for hidden treasures. You're or as for silver. Uh, <clears throat> searching for it as as a hidden treasure you're going after it with all of your heart with all of your mind soul body and strength you're seeking out that that joseph stubbornness that 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 you're holding on until you until uh you have that uh, until you receive everything that you desire to receive and and you're not letting go until you until you receive it uh, then you're then uh, here as we have in verse nine then and only then you're going to have that uh then you're going to have the understanding uh, and that understand you're going to have uh, understand righteous understand righteousness uh, judgment equality yay and every good path every good path and that God would have you to, to go on and, and it comes when uh, as we went over verse 6 7 and 8 then and only then whenever God has gives that to you whenever God preserves your way uh, and that, that when you walk uprightly with it, then and only then will you have that true understanding of righteousness, judgment, equality, and every good path. That it, it only comes from God. It only comes if, if, when, when God gives it. Not when not if not uh, what you find out in this world. Not what you not what what book you can uh, you can read. Not what whatever uh, famous televangelist might be out there. Uh, trying to direct you in in uh, <clears throat> in a way if they're not walking truly walking with God, but it only comes when from God. It only and this is letting you know it, that that the only way to get it is from God. The only there's no substitute for it. There's no no uh, there's no circumventing the system. Oh, how the what I'm trying to 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 get at. All right, everybody understand? Everybody got it? Whew. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, we got through verse 9. Now, next week, we're going to go over verse, uh, let's see, verse 10. Uh, we'll go down verse 10 to uh, maybe, uh, we'll try. We might not get to it, but we'll read down to verse 10 to verse uh, 6 maybe so we'll go over verse 10 down to verse 16 or however however much we're going to cover so uh and what is that june whoa wait, 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 six seven no six uh start of june next week at the eighth right with my left hand again ah all right that we're gonna, like I said, like, like I said, read ver- from verse ten down to verse, uh, read down, to, yeah, read down to um, verse, verse sixteen, from ten, from verse ten to verse sixteen. So if there's no, there's, uh, if there isn't no questions, statements of everybody, if everybody have received, ever received what the Lord has for us, if all hearts and minds are clear, I'm gonna. Open up the invitation of discipleship to everyone. All of, everyone has joined together with us. Those here, as well as those of you, those of you joining together with us online, if you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior, and, and you just uh, and I say, if you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior, not because somebody, uh, whether it's family, friends, or spouse, parents, relatives, not don't do it because somebody's pushing you and saying you have to do it if you desire to accept christ as your personal as your personal savior uh if you're here to if it's in your heart to do something come on for if you're here come on and, and we'll welcome you into the family of god if you're joining together with us online and you and you desire to accept christ as your personal savior all i have to do is lift up your voice and just say jesus uh come into my heart I, i'm a sinner and I, I know i need to be saved Save me, be my leader, be my guide, be my savior. 
and as you ex as you with all of your heart let that let that cry be known uh, for salvation that just as as where it says that with <clears throat> with thy mouth and make confession with thy heart uh, believeth believeth in, in your heart and that that, that the Lord uh, is, is died and raised up uh, to save us from our to uh, save us from our sins uh, if you desire for Christ to be your personal savior uh, once you say those words and say, Jesus, come into my heart and save me uh, from a sinner. And I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my savior. If you have said those words with all of your heart uh, and <clears throat> lifted up your mouth and said it with, with all of your heart, then your salvation has been totally, to totally and completely received. Uh, there, there's no uh, probationary period that you have to go through. There's no... Uh, there, there's no there, there, there's no uh, uh, class you have to go through for your salvation to be complete. Like I said, no probationary period that you have to go through for your salvation to be complete. And you, if you if you once you have said it with all of your heart, uh, and spoke with, with with your mouth and, and believe it and believe it in your heart uh, that you that that, that uh, Christ has died for your sins and, and you seek and you ask him for salvation, then you are saved. Uh, your salvation has been completely received but yeah, now your your walk of salvation will will, cont will continue on uh, your walk of salvation is going to continue on as as it does for all of us throughout your life uh, that the Lord that that uh, once you once you in that walk with Christ uh, uh, first pray and ask the Lord to take you to a church that he has waiting for you uh, and it's going to help you in your growth and in your faith in him uh, and, and don't seek out a church on your own. Uh, let, let, no matter how it may be pleasing to you, uh, whether to your eyes or to your ears, uh, but, but allow God to, to take you to that church that he has waiting for you. So you, so your salvation, so your faith will, will be, uh, built up the way he would have it to be built up. And as well, uh, when, uh, the Lord with this walk of salvation that you are now on that the Lord will take things and he will take people out of your life that he knows that's going to be a hindrance to you allow him to do so don't fight against it don't fight against him and uh, don't hold don't put anything uh, over him but allow him uh, to 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 take to take uh, whoever it may be out of your life as well uh, that that uh, he will take he will uh, bring people and bring things into your life. Allow once again, allow him to do so. Uh, don't don't fight against it. That God knows what what we what you need, what we all need uh, for our walk with Him to to stay solid. So allow God, whatever it is He may move, whatever it is or whoever it is He He is going to move out of your life, and who whatever it is and whoever it, whoever He's going to move into your life, allow Him to do so. And, and uh, I forgot to say it before, but at, at from from this on, from this point on out, when you pray, always pray. Excuse me, always pray in the name of Jesus, and always in your prayer in the name of Jesus. And uh, going on that, that if there's any out there that have has a a, a prayer request, uh, send it on there. Send in your prayer request. Your prayer request. Uh, our email address is beneath this video. It's prayer at rtbministries.us. Send in your prayer requests. Once I receive them, I'll pray over them on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Uh, like, I said, like I said, our prayer, our email address is prayer at rtbministries.us. It, the email address is right beneath this video. Uh, but, but send it on in, and, and I will pray over it on your behalf in the name of Jesus. And now lastly, uh, we'll be coming together on Sunday for Sunday service. I will start the broadcast at 1230 uh, here on Ustream. And uh, we'll be st like uh, I think I said, and we'll be starting a broadcast at twelve thirty. Uh, we'll start services probably shortly after that. We'll, we're probably going to be uh, continue set setting everything up and get every getting everything ready. But if the Lord have you to join together with us, we welcome you to come on and join together with us here uh, on Sunday at twelve at twelve thirty. Once we start our services, or if the Lord have you to join together with us in person, uh, we we come together uh, here. Down here in Elizabeth, here in Elizabeth Town, at the Holiday, <coughs> excuse me, at the Holiday and Express, here in Elizabeth Town, uh, uh, the Reams, Reams Elizabeth Town exit off of Route 283. Uh, 
if you're tra if you're traveling westbound uh once you get off the that that range elizabeth town exit you'll you'll turn left if you're going e if you're going uh Excuse me. If you're going eastbound, once you get off, once you get off the exit, you'll you'll turn right, and and, and the it's the first it's the first uh it's the first uh if you're if you're coming, well when you, well you'll be coming toward us. So if you're coming toward us, it'll be the first right it'll be the first uh right hand turn that you that that you will make. Uh, but like I said, if if the Lord has you to join together with us, we welcome you to come together, come together with us. We start we gather together, start coming in at, tw at a little after twelve. Little after twelve, uh, and we'll be setting up, setting everything up, getting everything ready. So if the Lord, like I said, if the Lord have you to join together with us in person, we welcome you to come on together with us. We we it's uh the Reams Elizabeth Town exit off of Route two eighty three. Uh, we welcome you to come together with us uh, for praising, worship, and lifting up our voices uh, in the name of Jesus, and to sit at sit at our Father's feet and to receive His words. And, and so we welcome you to come on together, come on, uh, uh, come on over and, and join with us. Uh, but if that, if nothing else, if all hearts and minds are clear, uh, let's all bow our heads and be dismissed out. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, guiding and keeping and standing on with us, dear Father. We thank you for the peace that you've given to us, all that you've done for us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Lord, as we come together in the name of Jesus, uh, guide and keep, uh, as we, or as we leave, uh, as we uh, go our separate ways, dear Father, back out in this world, bless us, dear Lord, surround us, strengthen us uh, to continue walking in the pathway that you have set for us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear Lord, let there be nothing to to. Uh, uh, to, to, to cause us to fall away, dear Father, to cause us to stumble, dear Lord. Bless us, dear Father. Keep us in good health and and, 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 and safety, dear Father, injury-free. And bless us as well to be an, remind us to be an ambassador out there in this world of your word, to show the world how uh, uh, the walk of salvation uh, that, you have, that, that, that you have given to us, dear Father, and that we can do it in a solid way, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless God and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, the homes and the families, dear Father, as well. And I pray that your glory to shine down around us. And as well, dear Father, I lift up this your church. Dear Father, continue sustaining it and maintaining it and blessing us to come together uh, next Thursday for another session of your Bible study coming out of the distractions of this world and as well coming together on Sunday, dear Father, for your service as you allow us to do so, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do with us, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.